All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back. Um, the past two days have been about 20 degrees and below. So we've gotten a little bit of snow, a little bit of mostly sleet uh, up in the area. But uh, I haven't posted a boat video in probably a while. So I ordered the Prodigy oil change kit for my mud buddy which I'm gonna show y'all basically the ins and outs I know it's not hard to change oil at all but some people might have questions and whatnot so I'm gonna be changing my oil today and I'm just gonna make a video out of it but I'm also recording the fact that it's about 20 degrees right now and we got a lot of snow and a lot of ice and a lot of sleet which is crazy for South Louisiana I have this is just on any typical Vanguard motor I don't know if y'all gonna have questions or not but you can run in and out, it's real simple. Changing out your oil and everything. Turn this uh, down a little bit. But, all we did was took off the old oil filter, which is right here. Make sure you always get that, uh, that gasket for your oil filter. And you're gonna take this drain plug out right, right there. That's your oil drain plug. Uh, just let it drain into a bucket. You know, I've covered my transducer, so I uh, I don't get st oil on my transducer. So, and I just use a 3/8 extension. Fits perfectly in the square. I don't have a square socket or anything. So, and what's really weird about this one is uh, they had some. I don't know if it's Loctite. I don't think it's Loctite. I think it's some kind of gasket maker on that uh, on that plug so I don't know if that's a common practice or not but on my last one I didn't have any gasket maker or Loctite on there but I just tighten that up till it's flush clean all the extra oil off of it get it pretty tight you don't want to over tighten it because with any oil plug you don't want to get it over tightened that's when things start happening bad things happen as I said I ordered mine from Prodigy so it came in as a uh, I got them to paint it to match my boat pretty cool little feature take some oil all the uh, old oil put on that ring and you just tighten her back in Hey, you only really want to get this hand tight. It's about right there. That's about good. You don't want to get it too tight. You don't want to over tighten it and uh, strip out your oil filter or ruin your threads on your little post in here. Your threads actually have a hole in them, though. That's where your oil comes from. A lot of y'all know that, but just a little FYI. And then we'll be filling up our oil. I'm going to move y'all real quick. All right, guys. So we got your oil cap right here. Oil cap. Make sure your O-ring still intact. If not, you can go get another O-ring from any place, really. And your dipstick. Take that out. You always want to make sure your your funnel is real clean. All right, once you're done cleaning it, you want to put your oil filter in. Uh, in the where the cap goes, you know. This is the stuff that Prodigy uses, so this is what I'm gonna use my mud buddy. It takes about two quarts. One of these is one quart, but I'm gonna pour one quart in, let it settle, check it with the dipstick. Now I'm not used to that cold weather. It's got me freezing over here. My hands are frozen, my face is frozen. All right, and you can just check it with a dipstick, stick it in. This cold's gonna be, I mean, this oil's gonna be really cold, so uh, just give it a second to sink down and everything. Take this one out, put the cap back on, be clean. God, it's cold as hell. I don't know what I was thinking coming out here. It's a 10W30 because, you know, AMS oil. So I'm going to pour a little bit in there, probably half of the container, probably half quart. Let it sink down a little settle. I'm right under it. I'm going to pour a little bit more. I'm actually going to go a little bit over because... Holy shit, I ain't never recorded on my iPhone before, but this damn camera. Damn camera keeps... uh. He's dying on me. I didn't charge her up, so. 
see my oil lines right in the middle a little bit over the middle of that textured area so put it back in it ain't never it ain't never been this cold before so i'm gonna just pour the rest in it and make a full two quarts check it it's a little high it's okay because once you crank it up uh all your bearings start running but you'll disperse that oil a little bit more uh I don't know how funny this looks. I don't know if I'm even focused or not. But uh, you can tell by all the ice and the sleet. This is what uh This is shit that was going on the past two days. I'm also doing a Yeti build to match my boat. Uh, got the stencils right here. That's my fault. I didn't think I was making a video today, but I was like, man, I ain't made a video in a while, so I'm gonna try to make. It. I'm just gonna make one change in my oil just because. Also got with the kit some spark plugs but i don't think i'm gonna use i mean i ain't gonna change them out yet because i don't think there's no point i'm gonna check them here in a bit and see how they are but if they're not bad i ain't gonna change them so well, anyway guys i'll see you in the next episode i am rigging out in a couple days i'm gonna start rigging out my boat getting some gopros on her for fishing for bass fishing so me and my girlfriend went two days ago or it's probably two weeks ago and uh i caught two two little baby bass not nothing big but uh yeah so we're gonna try to change over from duck hunting to uh to some fishing content for y'all put up and everything see how that works i'm gonna try some different camera angles and everything so well i'll see you guys in the next episode it's cold i'm going inside